Hi lovelies, I'm Sarah Freya and it is an absolute pleasure to have you, yes, you, here at my channel today. I have a video that is prepared on 10 healthy hair tips for absolute hair perfection. Just kidding, perfection is never attainable, but hair amazement. This will be a general overview of 10 hair tips that I follow regularly to ensure that my hair is happy, it's healthy, and doing its absolute best. And this video is specifically targeted to all the people that always ask me what I do with my hair. So I'm gonna refer you here. Here's all the tips, enjoy. Tip number one is hydration. Do unto your hair as you do unto your face. I feel like a lot of people I speak to have a very intensive or at least consistent skincare regimens, but a lot of people don't translate that into their hair. Now. I don't know if you know this, your hair is dead. It, it's literally, it comes out of your head and it's dead. You need to help it out. It needs that moisture added back. It needs that hydration, that beautiful, beautiful suppleness added back to it. So whether you're using um, consistent hair masks at least once a week or adding on hair oils, check out my video on hair oils if you wanna know my favorites, uh, make sure that you are giving your hair back that hydration that it needs to have its luster. Again, it's dead people. Like, it needs stuff. My favorite, just quick fire tip, um, I absolutely love argan oil for split ends, for detangling, for keeping it beautiful and supple. Check out my hair oil video, like I said, for more tips. But this one is a amazing one that I highly recommend. Step number two is limited styling products. Now, I know that sounds self-explanatory, but limit the amount of heat styling tools that you're using on your hair. Um, I'm not saying stop it entirely, but maybe trying to cut down from whatever you're doing now, whether that's curling or straightening or blow drying, maybe implementing small steps such as letting it air dry every so often, whether you take a shower a little bit earlier in the morning to let it air dry or you let it dry overnight or um, trying to find alternative methods of curling your hair or accessorizing it some days when you're not loving the look of it, but you're gonna just leave it. All those things do um, build towards the overall health of your hair and it will help your hair in the long run. The other thing I recommend doing is if you do heat style your hair, use something like a heat protectant spray or something like argan oil, for example, that is, um, again, another heat protectant before you do it to at least minimize any damage that it would cause. Step number three is diet. Now, I'm not a doctor, so obviously, speak to your doctor or healthcare practitioner about any changes to your diet or if you need any changes to your diet before you implement any. But in general, what you put into your body is what also comes out of your body and hair comes out of your body. So I always recommend making sure that your diet is rich in vitamin B, vitamin D, iron, omega fatty acids, and zinc, which are all vitamins and minerals that you need to grow healthy hair, as well as protein. Our hair is made of protein, so if we don't eat enough protein, we're not going to be having the building blocks to create beautiful, luscious hair. I do go into more detail on which foods specifically to eat for healthy hair for different diets, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, carnivorous, whatever, in the, my separate video on eating for healthy hair. But in a nutshell, eat enough protein, have your lentils, have your salmon, have your walnuts, have your lovely oils, eat a balanced, rich diet, and you will reap the benefits in your hair and also in your skin and your nails. My next tip, limit shampoo. I know, I know, everyone always hears this and goes, you're telling me not to shower. That's not what I'm saying. You can still shower. I'm saying limit your shampoo. Don't shampoo every day. I don't do it. My hair is happy about that. I'm not saying shampoo once a week, but like every second day, every third day, depending on what your hair needs, just don't do it every day because it does strip the moisture. It makes your hair overall more dry. So you don't wanna be overly stripping your hair of all the lovely oils and lovely things that it produces 
Also not so lovely things, which is why you need to shampoo, but you don't wanna be overly stripping it every single day. My next tip number five is condition. And that goes directly with the shampoo tip. Every time you shampoo your hair, make sure you are conditioning it and make sure you're conditioning properly. So look at the instructions of the bottle, put your conditioner in and let it sit. Don't just wash it out. That's completely counterintuitive. You need to make sure that it has a time to nestle and do all those lovely little things that it needs to do to make sure that your hair is moisturized and looks beautiful. And all the things that you're taking off with the shampoo, you're adding back with the conditioner. Tip number six is also shower related. Detangle before you shower. <laughs> I love that like all those words are stressed. Detangle before you shower. There we go. A lot of people say this and it is true. Your hair is more vulnerable when it's wet to breakage. So try to brush and detangle your hair before you wet it. There are times where I need to also detangle it uh, when it's wet. What I do in these cases is I allow it to air dry a little bit uh, and I towel, I pat it with a towel so that it's a little bit less wet and I use a detangler that is specific for wet hair in order to do it so it's not as aggressive. Um, this particular one I got from Tangle, this isn't sponsored, um, I got from Tangle Teaser and it is for wet hair and I really, really like it. Uh, something else I like to use a wide tooth comb and basically if I absolutely need to I put in a little bit of um, an oil and then I basically just brush it out a little bit afterwards if I need to but I do make sure before I go in to get out all those main knots so that I'm not like tugging it while it's more most susceptible to breakage. Tip number seven is scrunchies. Use a scrunchie instead of a hair tie. Not only do they look cuter, they're way better for your hair. Whether you use, oh my gosh, where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> um, whether you use a, a satin scrunchie, which is great, or a fabric scrunchie, or a whatever this is made of scrunchie, um, they look cute and they help protect your hair from breakage. Take all this stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. That did not work. Okay, yeah, uh, get rid of it. We don't want, we don't want it. I'm not actually saying never use it, but limit how much you use those hair ties. They do break your hair. Also, like I said, like scrunchies come in many shapes and colors and they're beautiful and I absolutely love them and they're so cute. Uh, you don't need 30 scrunchies. I think I have, 30. you don't need that many, but get a few that you really like and use them and enjoy them and your hair. Well, thank you. <laughs> I have way too many. Tip number eight is tightness. Don't tie your hair back too, too tightly if you do use those other clips. Um, and if you do, try to take it out as soon as you can. Part of that, again, is breakage. And don't pull your hair when you have it in like a high ponytail. That's not good. Just in general, try to leave your hair in its natural state as much as you can. So when you style it, don't overly tweak it. That isn't the best for it. And in general, it's like with clothes, you don't wanna be like overly stretching them every day. You want it to keep its structural integrity. And the hair strands have a structural integrity. So maintain it. <laughs> Sorry, that was so aggressive. Ugh. Tip number nine is trims. You want to get uh, consistent trims to maintain the health of the bottom of your hair, especially uh, towards split ends. We don't want those. A little bit of split ends is normal people. I, I literally know people that like cut each individual split ends. Don't do that. You don't need to do that. What you wanna do though is go to your uh, hairdresser or barber or whoever it is with your hair that you trust, could even be yourself, and trim the split ends when you need to consistently. Don't just leave it to grow for a year or two years. I personally go every three months because I'm trying to keep my hair long, but you can do whatever works for you. Some people it's six weeks, some people it's one month, some people it's two months. Whatever it is that works for you, 
keep up that consistent routine so that your split ends are not a problem. Tip number 10 is satin pillowcases. I sleep on a satin pillowcase, not because I am a super, I, I mean, I wish, not because I am a multi-cajillionaire, but because I like to reduce the amount of friction between my hair and the pillowcase at night. So there's less chance of breakage and less tension overall. You don't have to break the bank on a satin pillowcase, but if you find one that you like and you treat it well, I, I actually have two that I alternate with and I've had them for ages and they feel really good both on my skin and my hair and you also just feel very fancy. I don't know. If you can, I recommend doing it. It's not the be all end all, um, but it is a little suggestion if you have the extra budget to do it. So whatever works for you. So there you have it, 10 quick tips for healthy hair. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from the video. Be sure to check out my video on what to eat for healthy hair for different diets as well. And if you would like a video on the hair masks that I use, uh, it could be the store-bought ones or natural homemade ones, let me know in the comments, give this video a like. Also subscribe, bell icon. Again, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You're literally here on YouTube watching this video. You know how to use YouTube, but please support me in any way. Follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on all socials at Sarah Freya. I have everything in the description below. It is, sorry, my hair is like, it's like in my face. Uh, I like make this whole video on like long hair and I'm like, I clearly don't have manage it. Hi, yeah, editing Sarah and Alphonse here. Um, I forgot to say all the good stuff. So follow me at Sarah Freya on all of my socials, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, at Sarah Freya. Also go to my blog, www.sarahfreya.com. S-A-R-A-H-F-R-E-I-A.com for more um, travel, fashion, recipes, coffee, and just general wiener dog and good stuff. So please follow me there, hit the bell icon, and always check back here because I post a video every first and third Sunday of the month. Thank you so much. It's been absolute, wonderful, stupendous, tremendous pleasure to have you here. And I hope you have an incredible day. Bisous.